Well, that's nice to wake up to. So it's gonna be a takeover. Okay, so hi, I'm Bailey from Horsepower and Pizza. Um, I like both horsepower and pizza, not particularly in that order. Before we start today's video, back to the motivational speaking. Um, a lot of you guys said you liked that from the last video, so I'm gonna continue to try to incorporate that. We are going to see a lot of dream cars today. And by dream cars, every car guy knows you have the dream car that you could currently purchase, the dream car that's probably feasible in about five to 10 years, and then the dream car that it's probably never gonna happen. That's bullshit. You are in 100% control of your life. A lot of the people that I know, a lot of my friends with supercars, they didn't come from much. They just know how to work, set goals, and they achieve them. Setting goals is huge. Setting goals can legitimately set you up for failure or it can set you up for success. If you set goals far too high, Again, this comes back and ties into the instant gratification thing. If you set a goal way too high, shit, I failed, I'm done. No, that's bullshit. Set feasible goals, achieve them, set another goal, set another goal, one step at a time, get things rolling. I'll see you at the show. We're in. I'm standing here looking at the Lingen filter. Oh, yeah, I'm like, that's what I was just I'm like, Lingen we're, filter. we're trying to find this. I turn around. I'm like, oh my god, there it is. This is the Agara RS that did the world land speed record. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said dream cars that will probably never happen, but you can dream. You just gotta work for it. I love this like gray. It's almost like a Nordo gray. Simulator and look, I found my friends. Well, one of my friends. What There's my other friend. What's up? Did you see the Koenigsegg yet? I didn't see the Koenigsegg. It's over here. Do you want to go see it? I'll go back and see it again. It's see, she's she's so adamant on me going very quiet, but I want to like run to that. I, I did. It's beautiful. You need to go see it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Can I just spend about uh, Let's hear it. For a second. Let's hear it. A lot of money. Absolutely wonderful. Won't break like a ring. This is the first one to have it. The LS is the second. And the GAL platform, brand new. This is the stiffest, stiffest chassis. I want an LC500 more than I want an M5, and that should say something to you. No, it is the most overpriced, underperforming car on the market. Take it from somebody that's owned one. This is what Mike just bought his girlfriend for Christmas. Mike? Street Speed. Oh. He just bought her a white one for Christmas. No, but it's the CHR. I saw one of these at IKEA yesterday. Look at this one, and somebody pointed this out. They have, yeah. Yeah, but... Because somebody was saying, what about your short friends? They can't get in. Toyota wouldn't allow them to stretch tires. Yeah. Otherwise, I would say go 10 and but a half, look at the, probably like a 225. <laughs> I'll agree with that. All the carbon on the front end. That was really real. Yeah. Rose gold. Rose gold rotiforms. It's a TRD Camry. Ooh, look at that. Where's the, the Where's the dent? Bailey, did you see on that one? <laughs> we, got, we got some NASCAR inspired. Oh, I see that. I like that color. I'm about it. I like the, I don't know. I, I'm never about wide body sedans. That that kind of kills it for me. Oh, see, but, I love the fact that you have to go through the extra work to do that. Yeah. But also, why put- I like the carbon duck bill and, or duck tail on that. If you gather anything from this video, it's that RJ and I really enjoy unique, random shit. Weird stuff. Yeah. The weirder the better. You show me a bagged minivan and I'll just be the happiest kid on the face of the planet. He, he's not wrong. See, this is what you gotta do. You gotta be able to teach your dude how to use his stuff. <laughs> I don't Sometimes. know anything about cameras. That's why I hang out with RJ. Well, look at it though. Oh man. <laughs> Cavalry blue. Ugh. 
Yeah. No, I'm about this. I mean, it's going to be $40,000 and then be $40,000 10 years after it releases, but still. Good looking truck. So it's gonna be a takeover. See, it's so hard for me when I'm doing stuff like this because I immediately want to start trash talking like every car that's out there. It's like a, a mutilated Tesla. They got this chilling right here. It's super low key. Huh? Don't look too bad. Kinda looks like a ZR1 from the back. Uh oh, Rachel's got expensive taste. Oh, We're in oh. trouble. We already knew that. <laughs> And I guess I should probably do an introduction while we're here. So I am RJ. I am RJK Photographs on, on Instagram, but that's not really important right now. What is important is that guy right there. Yeah. You know, what do you want? I mean, obviously the Stelvio is awesome. And then the Alphas. I mean, you got your your Julia's, but also the four C's and the Spider or the Coupe. This is the perfect milf mobile. Rachel wants this when she's a mom. I just said it's the perfect milf mobile. Got that dual clutch. Yeah, that right? yeah dude. This is perfect. X5M. This is perfect. I mean, if they didn't cost one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars when you spec them out. I know, I know. It looks like it's this. just money. I got a credit. And they got ever CC. They have the F90 M5 over here. Rachel actually saw one on the street in the wild in Pittsburgh the other day before I had even seen one in person. So I was a little bit pissed off. This car is beautiful. I like this almost mulberry matte paint that they have. The white leather looks really good. It has like paint match stitching in it. It's a first edition, it's one of 400. For $132,000, they really should have optioned the carbon ceramic brakes on there. That's my only complaint with it. I don't know about in that color, but it took them it took them long enough to come out with a roadster. It's pretty sick though. Target top. Would we really be at a large event if I didn't lose my friends? Yeah, I'm screwed. I don't know where they went. They left me at Cadillac. This is like the equivalent to losing your mom in the grocery store. I found them. It's like it's like a vet. I, I said I, I was like, this is the equivalent to losing your mom in the grocery store. I was so scared. <laughs> and did you see the cutaway of the LT4? Yeah. I had to stop because I was drooling. Cool stuff over here. She's all crazy right now. There's a Tiffany blue M6 over here. Including an Austin yellow E46 M3. Is it Austin or is it Phoenix? Phoenix it's probably Phoenix. Yeah, it's probably see, Phoenix. there you go. Hey, listen, you're the BMW guy. I'm the guy who pretends to know BMW. Well, that, that's true. Color, color change. Look who. Ooh. RJ hates GTRs. Phoenix yellow E46 M3. Absolutely beautiful. We'll see if you guys know this. I'm at the Acura booth right now. Let me know in the comments why do they cut the tops of the wheel wells out on this race car? I'll send a sticker to the first person that answers it correctly. NSX GT3 is all carbon. Look how large the weave is. It's incredible. Let's make a poor financial choice today, boys. We know how that ended last time I bought a Sierra. You want to talk about a money pit, boys. Here we go. If you're going to buy a Kia Stinger, you better do it in this color. It's like a red pearl. This is the Hellcat Jeep. This is the track. That paint's wild. Yeah. That was the best part of my day.
I'm being summoned this way, so I believe we have the ZR1. And there she be. so much carbon fiber on this damn car. This is the reason we came to Detroit, and uh, I'm impressed. I must say I'm impressed. Two horsepower and blistering lap times are like what you're going for, but you also want to take the wife out to dinner and pull the top off? I generally pull the top off after I take the wife out to dinner. Got him. Goodbye. <laughs> I will say I'm very disappointed that Toyota doesn't have the Super Concept here and obviously that's the BMW Z4 crossover like it's a joint partnership BMW doesn't have the Z4 concept here either that was something I was interested in seeing Tesla's not here Porsche's not here kind of disappointed that way I want to stop by Alfa Romeo Pittsburgh next weekend, check out the uh, Stelvio, the V6. I can't pronounce the big long Q word, so I don't even try to butcher it. We're going to end the video there for today. Detroit was great. I'm going to go hang out with Micus and Hunter and Brandon and everybody else at their hotel. Go get some food. It's a great event. I've never been to something like this before. As always, if this is the first video that you've seen. Please subscribe, give it a big thumbs up. Social media, website, everything's linked below. Peace out. Build it for you.